Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I'm an illustrator. I am also a concept artist, which means I design characters and environments for TV shows and adverts and all sorts of things like that. I work from home in this small little studio and I asked on Instagram what my next video should be and it was requested to be an office tour. So, so I'm gonna show you around. It's very small, very compact. <laughs> I will tag links below to things if I think they're worth checking out. And yeah, I really hope you enjoy it. So let's go. So here is my desk area. The desk is from Ikea. Um, it's quite a wide desk and um, obviously because I have my drawing tablet and my keyboard I wanted something that a little bit wider um, and it also means I could add on this shelf which props my screen up higher so I'll leave a link for, for those um, but they are IKEA and they're very cheap for a desk so I think they're a great great solution so if we come over on the left I have just some little tubs I picked up I think from HomeSense um, I have my pens in and um, these pieces of paper are receipts that I put in so every now and again I update QuickBooks with my expenses I put receipts in there when it gets full I update QuickBooks but I can do a, a video explaining that if, if people want it I have my Nella doll so if people don't know I worked on Nella the Princess Knight season 2 so she sits there with me oh I'll leave it like that um, moving over, I have space for my pen, my Wacom pen and my iPad, uh, my iMac and my Wacom, this is the Wacom Cintiq Pro 16, um, it's brilliant, I absolutely love it. And over here I have my current uh, notepad that I'm using, I have so many notepads. Um, this is the Mary Poppins one, I think I picked it up in Clinton's, but yeah, this is the one I use. And then I have my weekly planner, um, these are the ones that I've designed, they're available in my shop. Obviously it's Monday, so I still need to plan my whole week. And then I also have a monthly planner, I got this from um, Coco Natasha, I will leave a link, it's brilliant, I need to fill that in. Then above that, I have my shelf. So this shelf is from Ikea also, and it's essentially my Disney shelf. I have pictures of me and my partner. Oh. Um, and then, yeah, all my favorite Disney things. So I have my Disney Minnie Mouse ears print, that's mine. I have a photograph of my last trip to Disney World and my ears, and then just a few of my teddies and things like that. So that is my workstation. It looks very clean, I'll tell you now, it doesn't stay like that often. <laughs> then over here is my organising station. <laughs> this is where I keep everything. So we'll start with the pegboard. This is from Ikea, I absolutely love it. It's quite messy at the minute but essentially I have art on there that inspires me and from artists that I love. I have tapes and ribbon and bits and pieces like that that help me package my orders as well as scissors and stickers. I then have a tub of pens and sharpies and pencils. I have some old um, business cards in here. I'm getting these updated so the new ones will be in there soon. Um, I have a spare pair of glasses, I always need those. I have some notebooks up here. Oh. Whoops. I have some pieces from Catnip, you'll have seen me unbox them in a studio vlog. And I also have little pieces of confetti for my flat lays. Again, that was in a vlog as well, you can go and check that out. And next to that, I have my Girl Boss print. I absolutely love this. It just inspires me every day to just be a girl boss. Then a bit further down, I have my new printer. If you watch my videos, you'll see me unboxing that. And above it, I have some posts that needs to send be sent. Over here, I have, these are some books that I've illustrated. I can maybe talk about those in another video. 
I have a plant there that I got from co-op, believe it or not, I absolutely love it. A picture of me and Luke's and a lamp. Then below I have this unit, I got it from Ikea, it's just brilliant, it stores everything I need. On the left here is a drawer of just honestly rubbish, bits of old business cards and printer bits, we just don't go in there, let's just not talk about it. And below is electricals, but moving over I have, in here is all my different colour paper that I use to take photographs and flat lays and things like that. In this tub is everything I need to make my greetings cards. So there's the paper, there's the envelopes and the cellophane. Moving across, I have these um, wooden boxes that I got from Hobbycraft and I actually use these at my craft fairs but they're brilliant for storing things when I'm at home. So in here, um, this is where I keep all of the um, weekly planners. Uh, this one is just a spare one, but they're all in cellophane, ready to be sent out. Then in this one, I have postcards and prints and cards. The prints are at the bottom. That's in there. This tub is actually for my craft fairs. So it has my um, tablecloth in there and my card reader and just things like that. Over here is where I keep my envelopes. I have ordered some more because I'm running very low. I have some tissue paper to help me wrap up orders, some cellophane and lots of paper down there, all the different types of paper that I print off. I also then have some books. So I have so many books um, and they're all stored away. I just sort of rotate around. These are my current favorites. So I have some Disney books. I have books that I've got from Kickstarters. I, I love all of these. And then behind the door is where I store my bags for when I make um, sales both at craft fairs and locally. I put them in a bag. I also have some cardboard boxes like the printer, uh, like the mailers that I send out. This is where I store greetings cards at craft fairs. I've got another one on the way. And at the back there is a large portrait that I show at craft fairs. Um, I'll be updating the picture that is in there soon. So that is a very, very quick tour. And it's so basic, I really don't have much going on. Hoping you see Luke in the back there. I'm very sorry if he ruined that video but I'm trying to keep it as real as possible. Yeah, thank you so much for checking out the video. If you have any questions or if you want to know anything that I have that you maybe want a link for, just let me know in the comments below. Aww, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe. I would love that. I've got lots more videos planned, so yeah, stay tuned. Thanks so much, speak soon.